Let's walk through how you can quickly and easily geotag your images online using this free tool. Now, why would you want to do this? Anytime you upload an image anywhere online, the information that is embedded in that image travels with it. Did you know that you can actually edit that information and add to it um, to give Google more information about the image and who it belongs to? Um, before you upload it. And this is a great way to add some SEO ranking value to anything you upload online. So let me walk you through using two tools. The first one is this free online tool. The second one will be jumping over to a um, software developed by Adobe called Bridge. And using Bridge, I'm going to show you how we can quickly check the file that we've downloaded to make sure that what's been embedded in it online using the free tool comes with it, um, and also how we can further edit that information. So let's jump over here. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with Google. Now that I've signed in with Google, I'm gonna go ahead and find an image to upload. I'm actually going to use the same image that I used in the Canvas section of this training on the lesson that taught about website images. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, I had clicked here. It opened up my file finder on my local disk and I uploaded this image here. It may look familiar to you um, and that's why I've used it. I just want you to see how this software works um, very quickly and how you can use the information on this dashboard and edit things before you actually overwrite the tags and download it. So you can see that when I uploaded this image, it already pulled in the latitude and the longitude. Let's go ahead and zoom in and you can see where this was taken. This was actually taken at Convict Lake here in California. And this is my son sitting on this side of the lake and we're looking out. Let me zoom out. Okay, now we know where this image was taken. I want to jump back into what else we can do in this free software to quickly edit the data and upload it into your website or online. So the first thing you can do is come in here and add some keywords. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna add a few keywords that people might search for if they were searching Google to look for perhaps this location or this activity. Okay, so you see I've added three here. Hiking near Bishop, Mountain Vacation, and Easy Hikes near Mammoth. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and add in a description. So I've gone ahead and added a quick description. You can put anything in here. If this were about your business, you might wanna say, blank blank business, specializing in blank blank services or products in the blank blank area of wherever you live, and then anything else you would want to say about your business um, for people to read or chew. So I've added keywords and I've added a description. And this one says, hiking in and around Bishop and Mammoth Lakes, California is a great family friendly vacation, okay? So that's the metadata and the keyword tags and description that I've added to this photo. So what you need to do is click the right EXIF tags. As soon as you do that, you can hit the download tab. Now, if for some reason you need to clear this information and start over, you can press this button. But I'm gonna go ahead and download this, and then I'm gonna open it in Bridge and show you how these things show up. The link for the Adobe Bridge software is below in the description, as is the link for the free geotag software that I've just shown you. But let's go ahead in here and click on the image. Now, I haven't changed the image name yet, and that is something I will definitely do. But I want to show you what it's pulling in here. And I don't know if you can see it over here, but you can definitely see it here. So let me show you. So this is the file itself, it's the file properties. If you wanted to change the name, um, you would have to do this in your uh, file manager folder on your local computer. You cannot do this in here, but that's okay. You can always do that later. It tells you what kind of file it is, um, the date the file was taken. So this was taken on October 7th in 2022 when I was up at Convict Lake. 
Um, and then when I had edited it, which is today, the file size, the dimensions of the file, both in pixels and in inches, the resolution, which is usually 72 for images, uh, the bit depth, um, the color mode, and the profile. Um, you don't really need to worry too much about all of this uh, when you're in Adobe, but when you are going to be uploading images to the web, the, these dimensions are way too large. So one thing you need to remember is that this tagging process needs to be the last thing you do before you upload on a site. So what I mean by that is you would not want to take this image and go over to Canva and upload it there and then export it again at a different size. Do all of the work in terms of resizing before you tag and upload because this information, whatever is in here the last time around, is what you want Google to see. So make sure this is the last thing you do before you upload. So let's just scroll down here um, in this IPTC section you'll see you can add all kinds of things in here um, if this were for jacob's website um, jacob is my son the who's in the photo i might put his job title in there i might have put his name as the creator if this was a photo he was going to claim was his um, and then the address and the city um, where this photo was taken um, or if this is going to be a photo he's using for his website I might put in um, the address and the the city and state of his local business. Now we'll talk more about um, correct ways to geotag these images in just a second in terms of location, but I just wanted to walk you through how the software works in terms of the data that's brought in. So you can see right here, it's brought in the description and the keywords that we had on this software here, okay? They both match up. Um, Adobe will adjust some of the formatting, but that doesn't matter. Google recognizes this information um, either way. And then you can scroll down here and you can see, hang on, let's just get the GPS data. There it is. Okay, so it's showing you the longitude and the latitude. It's telling you the altitude of this image um, and a few other things. Okay. Um, these things aren't as important, the altitude and all of these aren't as important, but the longitude and the latitude are. So you can see that by using this um, very simple free online software that you're able to go ahead and download an image that now has some keywords and tags and a description. So let's go ahead and take this a step further. While we have um, imported this image and it's drawn in this latitude and longitude. If this were an image that we were going to use on a website that we were going to tag as being part of that website information, we might change the address. So what you can do is actually override this information. You can do it in Adobe, which is a little more complicated. Um, and I will walk you through that in a later tutorial. But for this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and change the location here. On this software, you can actually do it two different ways. You can click this and move this pin, okay? So you can come in here, and this might be the easiest way for you to do it if um, you don't have a precise city address, um, if you're just looking at putting it in a city location. For me, um, I actually would rather choose to instead of dropping it in the Mission Viejo area, I might choose to type in my address. So when I go ahead and I put in my address, and I'm just gonna type it in here quickly, you'll see that this window pops up, okay? And you can see to do a basic search, like I just did, or an advanced search, you do have to have Pro. Let's go ahead actually and get the exact longitude and latitude for this address and then come in here and copy and paste that information. So latlong.net is free um, just like the previous website and a really great way for you to get a precise latitude and longitude as opposed to moving this pin around and sort of guessing. So let me walk you through how easy it is to do this, okay? I'm just gonna type in my address 
and I'm going to hit find. And here it is. Okay. So it's gotten me the exact longitude and latitude. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this into the software on the other page. And let me show you where I've done that. So right here, I pasted the latitude and right here, I pasted the longitude. You can't come in and do it here. This is locked. It's just pulling the information from up here and you can see that now it's changed. Okay. So I would do the same thing I had done before. I write the um, EXIF tags and then I download it. So let me show you over in Bridge what that image is now displaying in terms of the metadata. Okay, so this was the previous image. Now I'm gonna show you this image and you can see that it's reconfigured it to be my precise latitude and longitude. So I like it like that and I'm gonna keep it like that. So let's actually take this a step further again. We had gone over a little bit about changing this core data here, and I would always advise that you go ahead and do that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and add some information there as well. Um, and I, I'm going to show you why this is so important. And, um, and this is important because you are giving Google even more information. Okay, so let's say that the creator is, um, okay, and the address, even though we have the longitude and latitude, this address can be read as well. So, um, because people don't read, um, longitude and latitude necessarily, but they can understand a city and a state, it's always better to put both in. And now my state and my postal code. I'm not gonna put my country in, but I will put my business phone, okay? And my email. Okay, and the website. There we go, all right? Now, I um, this is my training portal, so it's on a subdomain but my main website for my business is actually just um, bulletproofbusinesspros.com. But because this is where I wanna funnel people um, and this is where my traffic will be going uh, most of the time, I'm just gonna use the subdomain. Headline, okay? And um, because I'm switching out all this other information, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the description, okay? Premium course for small business owners looking to take their businesses to the next level, gain feedback and insights, and grow their networking. Okay, and then keywords. We're going to say, um, okay, so there we go. Small business course, marketing course, networking for small business owners, coaching for small business owners. Obviously, I could do a better job um, filling these in, but you get an idea, okay? And then the last thing I might do if this were for my business is give it a copyright status. Okay. Um, and I'm going to say property. Of so now we're going to go ahead and actually override the existing information in this image. Do you want to apply? Yes, I'm going to apply. And then I want to save this. Okay. Here it is, okay? Here's the template that I have created. It's got all the information we just edited and put in here. And the reason you would wanna save this is because next time you can come in and you don't need to re-enter all this stuff. You're, you might have to change the headline um, because the image might have a different headline. You may wanna add new keywords um, or, or expand on your description, but for the most part, the template's already done. It's got the um, longitude and latitude in it. It's even got the altitude. So I would go ahead and name this. Now, I already have one in here called Bulletproof Business Pros, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just call this test. Okay, and I'm gonna hit save. All right. Now, when I click this, you'll see that when I hover, I've got this new one here. So any image that I have in here, I can go ahead and tag this way. I can tag movies this way, okay? I could tag this one any way I want, okay? Come in here and add all this information. So Bridge is a really, really great tool. Um, it's a fantastic tool for you to go ahead and play around with um, and um, create metadata templates 
so that you can quickly do this for everything that you upload everywhere online.